Lung Cancer Clinical Trials and Native Americans. Lung cancer is a leading cause of death from cancer among Native Americans, including those who identify as American Indian, Alaska Native, Pacific Islander, and Indigenous communities. It is the second most commonly diagnosed cancer in Native American men and women. Native Americans are also more likely to be diagnosed with late-stage lung cancer. This is when treatment is less likely to succeed. These problems partly occur because Native American communities may be far from healthcare centers. They may lack access to lung cancer experts or the latest technology. Traditional healers have a strong role to play and can work with hospitals and other treatment providers. Native American communities are very diverse. Some communities are not recognized by the government or choose to remain anonymous. Native Americans from different communities have distinct languages, traditions, and often different genetic ancestry that affects their health and cancer risks. Effective lung cancer treatment and prevention for Native Americans means many communities must take part in clinical trials. Members of one community cannot provide enough information on whether something works well for everyone. Tobacco is a traditional Native American crop with an important place in many tribal cultures. Some Native American communities have high tobacco use and others do not. Using tobacco in ceremonies is not the same as being a heavy cigarette smoker. You may need to explain this carefully to your healthcare provider when you talk about tobacco and lung cancer risk. Lung cancer can happen in people who have never smoked. Researchers are working hard on new ways to screen for, diagnose, and treat lung cancer, including for Native Americans. Many of the most effective treatments work with your genetic makeup and immune system to fight cancer. However, most were developed with white volunteers because few Native Americans take part in clinical trials. Native Americans are approximately 3% of the U.S. population by the 2020 census. However, only about one-tenth of 1% 1 join cancer clinical trials. With so few Native Americans in trials, researchers do not have enough information to develop tests, drugs, and other treatments that will work well for everyone, including indigenous peoples. The lack of Native American people in lung cancer clinical trials means little is known about the needs and characteristics of indigenous people with lung cancer. Including Native Americans in clinical trials would help community members who receive treatment later. Those treatments would be partly developed on how they respond. Mistrust is one reason why few Native Americans take part in clinical trials. In the years between 1700 and early 1900, Governments and medical organizations purposely killed many indigenous people. Vaccines were tested on indigenous people in Canada in the early 20th century. In the 1970s, Native American women in the U.S. were sterilized without their consent. As recently as the 2000s, the Havasupai people sued researchers who used their information to study more than they agreed to. In the last decade, clinical trial rules and processes have improved. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, supervises organizations that monitor trials. It is important to ask your doctor or healthcare team about clinical trials. A trial may give you access to groundbreaking treatments. You will learn about the risks before deciding to join. As part of a Native American community, you can make a valuable contribution to future tests and treatments for people with your ancestry and similar genetic background. It is important to know that researchers must explain trials completely, answer your questions, and get written consent before you join a trial. They must make sure you understand and agree to every part of the study. It is wrong for them to do anything you did not know about or agree to. You can leave the trial at any time, even if nothing is wrong. An organization called Native American Cancer Initiatives has questions for Native Americans to ask about clinical trials. They also have information on communicating with healthcare providers who are often white. Communication styles can be different between groups and these tips can help. 
The American Indian Cancer Foundation is led by Native Americans. It offers free information, including on clinical trials. To learn more, visit nadamcancer.org and americanindiancancer.org. Your healthcare provider may talk with you about clinical trials. If not, feel free to ask. You can also talk with your primary care doctor or oncologist, a tribal elder, a family member, or a traditional healer. Shared decision-making is often important to patients. In the United States, clinicaltrials.gov is one place to search for trials. You may sign up at researchmatch.org or contact a Breath of Hope Lung Foundation for more information at abreathofhope.org forward slash clinical dash trials. To learn more about clinical trials for lung cancer, visit youandlungcancer.com.